All right, so in this video, I want to use ChatGPT um, to generate some images and then compare them to the images that are generated with Midjourney. Okay, kind of see uh, which has the most detail, has the most um, realism to it, and is um, kind of overall the best image. All right, now here's what I'm going to do. I want to create a prompt to generate those images, but I don't want to write the prompt myself. I want to actually ask ChatGPT uh, with the newest model 4.0 to write that prompt for me, okay, to provide more detail, more information about the kind of images that uh, should be generated. And then I'm going to use that prompt to pass it to ChatGPT and to Midjourney and then see how that works. All right, so here is the prompt that I have written. So the prompt says, I want you to write an instruction paragraph um, for an AI to create an image for me. I need you to be very descriptive as I want to have exquisite detail in the image and be impressed with the quality. I would like it to be the kind of image that the more you look, the more detail you discover. Okay, so hopefully that will prompt ChatGPT to provide a long and detailed description of the image that we want. And then I said, I want an image of a historically accurate Japanese samurai that is transported to modern day New York and is surprised and a bit annoyed at what he sees. So if I go ahead and run this, hopefully we will get kind of a longer paragraph with um, what the image should be. Okay, so here we go. We have create an image depicting a historically accurate Japanese samurai from the Edo period, modern day New York City, should be in traditional attire, meticulously detailed kimono, intricate patterns, so on and so forth. We have a pair of swords tucked into his belt. His expression should reflect surprise, um, annoyance, and so on. And we get all this information. You can pause the video if you want to read it. But personally, I'm not even going to read that. I'm just going to copy that and paste it here in a new chat and hopefully ChatGPT will just create an image for us. Now, if I'm not mistaken, ChatGPT behind the scenes uses DALI uh, to create these images. Uh, but in addition to the ChatGPT image creation, I'm going to paste the same text in DALI, which I have up here, to kind of see um, if there's any difference if or if the images are kind of in the same style. Okay, now ChatGPT 4.0, I have the newest model here, um, is quite quick at generating images. So this is the image that I get. All right, so here is the image that has been generated. We have the samurai in kind of traditional um, attire. We have the armor plating. It usually, so I've tried this before, it usually has kind of a uh, helmet, which it doesn't have in this case, but we see the background for New York. Um, we see kind of Japanese text here. I think it should be Japanese. I don't really recognize that, but um, yeah. So it does look pretty good. It has a lot of detail, a lot of uh, information. It has, I think, three swords, right? So it has one, two, and three, uh, which is one too many um, than was instructed, but overall, I think quite good. All right, so that is ChatGPT's uh, try. Let me go to Dali and try the same thing. So I'm going to paste that prompt here, hit enter, and then have Dali generate a couple of images for me as well. So let's have a look at what that gives us. All right, so there we go. We have our two images from Dali. So this one is a samurai. Um, it's kind of a bit weird for the helmet, right? It doesn't seem, this kind of horn thing doesn't seem to be attached to anything. Um, we have the armor, the two swords. One of them is kind of a half sword here. Um, but yeah, lots of detail. It is set in New York. I can uh, see, I think this is Times Square, right? I'm not super familiar with it, but it seems to be. And then we have the background for New York. Okay, and the other one is very similar actually to the one uh, that was generated by ChatGPT. So I think if I'm not mistaken, ChatGPT uses DALI behind the scenes. So that's why um, the similarity. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Midjourney. All right, so I'm here in Midjourney. Let's paste that uh, prompt and let's see what results we get. So the way Midjourney works is it generates four images, so four options of the same from the same prompt. 
And then we have the option to choose one of those images and upscale it. So actually to see the full detail of that image, we upscale it and let Midjourney kind of generate the correct image for us based on our preference. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait for this to finish and then we'll have a look at which one we like and then um, hopefully generate that or upscale that one. All right, so that's all for the image generation. Now I do like these images quite a lot. There seems to be a lot of detail in all of them. I'm just going to choose this one because it seems quite interesting, quite nice. So let me just click on that one. All right, so this is the image that we got. It is. Um, it seems to me to be a bit more detailed and there is a kimono here. So the, the samurai is dressed in kimono it has um, the traditional armor has the uh, kind of traditional, uh, I think it's traditional, I'm, I'm assuming, uh, helmet and so on, right? Two swords as was instructed. It's set in New York City, so we can see New York in the back and so on. And with kind of a stern and a bit annoyed expression on their face. So um, which one do you think looks better? Like for me personally, I do prefer this image to the other one. I think the detail is a bit more elaborate. There's more information here and kind of general vibe overall of the image. I, I do like it a bit more. All right, so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.